Each morning a new bride rises from bed, trembling in fear, afraid to face the day. Each dawn her devoted lover shudders in horror at what's ahead. How can this be, honeymoon bliss, shattered by their shrieks and groans? But you too would face each hour with terror, if within the house with you were a gruesome guest known as the corpse that came to dinner. <laughs> Returning from their honeymoon, Dan Parker and his new bride, Joyce, take up life in their suburban cottage. Oh, darling, it was a glorious three weeks. Sure was, honey. Now let's catch up on the news about our friends. Good heavens, this obituary. Henry Clayton, our old friend, dead, and he... He committed suicide. Oh, no! Henry? Oh, my God. Suicide? He... he was your rival, Dan! For me! He said once if he lost me, he'd end it all! Oh, how... how awful! <laughs> Later that day, at the small private cemetery on the Clayton estate... The fool! The fool! Hush, dear! The least we can do is visit his grave! Poor Henry! Rest in peace! Dan! That sound! Like... Digging? From the fresh grave itself? What? Hello, Dan and Joyce! My dear friends! Greetings from the grave! <laughs> Henry! Alive! No, not alive, my dear. I'm dead. A corpse. A ghost. But I want to hold you in my arms once more, my love. <laughs> Let her go, you fiend! She's not for you! She's mine! Dan and Joy stumble away in terrified loathing, but followed by mocking words. Let's get out of here! But you won't get rid of me this easily! Wait and see! <laughs> Later... Door locked! We're safe! What a frightful experience! Turn on the lights, dear! We are home again! Thank heaven! Hello! What took you so long? Ghost! Waiting for us! My gun! I'll... I'll get rid of you! Bang! Bang! Fool! How can you kill a ghost? A dead man! And that won't do you any good, Joyce called the police. Police! Help! There's a ghost in our house and... Ghoul! Listen, lady! Don't try any practical jokes on us! Goodbye! Click! See, my dear? Besides, how could the police put a ghost in jail? A dead man! No law covers that! Ha ha ha! Don't come a step nearer. Relax, you poor mortal fools. I'm not gonna harm you. You're not going to kill us in revenge over losing me? No, my dear. Dan can have you. I won't harm a hair of your head. Or, or his. I promise. All I'm gonna do is stay here, live with you as your guest in that nice. Stay? Oh, no. Wretched ingrates. I lost Joyce and my life, everything. Can't you let me stay? Isn't that the least you can do to atone for driving me to a tragic end? Oh, Dan, he's right in a way. I, I feel responsible for his death. Anyway, what else can we do? We can't kill him, arrest him, get rid of him. And if we anger him, he might... No, we have to let him stay. All right, that's settled. We'll be so cozy together. Just the three of us. <laughs> Now, when do we eat? The following days are a nightmare for the newlyweds, their bliss shattered by their horrible guest. Not bad, Joyce, this roast. But of course, I'd much prefer another kind of meat. Human flesh! Yes, you might call me the corpse who came to dinner. Ha! That's good, eh? Ha! Remember how we used to play cards together in the old days when I was alive? Come on, join me. You can't refuse. I'm your guest, you know. You like my special cards? I bid two zombies. Ah! When the phone rings and other friends call, Joyce, you never invite anybody over. Are you that much in love? Ha <laughs> ha! You two just want to be alone, eh? Alone? If we own 
only were. I, I have a splitting headache. I'll get my coat, go out for fresh air. Yeah! Tisk tisk, a skeleton in your closet. For shame. Ah! Have you no pity, Henry? Do you want to drive us mad? Not a bad idea, Dan, old boy. Not a bad idea. Ha! Ah! Night is a sleepless horror for Dan and Joyce. Every night, that drumming! And the drumsticks he uses. And the drum. Ugh! One evening, there is climactic horror when... This stew! Strange odor! Best meat we ever had! You see, I robbed a grave last night, and the choice cuts of meat you found in your icebox were... From a human corpse! Delicious, isn't it? You heartless fiend! Gulp! Get rid of it! All of it! How long will this go on? We can't stand it. You must leave. You must! Tut tut. Such unkind words. I like it here. One night at the brink of stark madness. I can't endure this much longer, darling. What if that thing stays with us all our lives? <laughs> Hush, honey, I have a plan. I looked up a voodoo doctor. He deals in forbidden black magic and has a rare voodoo poison that can paralyze a ghost. But the price is $5,000. All we have in the world. Who cares? Here, pawn my jewels. Get that poison at any price. At the next dinner. Mmm, this wine isn't bad. I'll have some more. Something's wrong. I I feel dizzy. My muscles stiffening. What's happening to me? I'll tell you now, you fugitive from the grave. I slipped this voodoo poison into your drink. It makes even a ghost helpless. Paralyzes him. At last, we can get rid of you, Henry. N no! This is a horrible mistake. Listen, save me. Help me. You see, I really... Ah. You spoke your last words, monster. Now your throat is paralyzed too. Later. It worked, darling. Back to the grave he goes. As soon as I dig it open again. His face, staring eyes, frozen in fear. I almost feel he's appealing to us desperately. But it must be my imagination. Dan and Joyce hear nothing of the frantic thoughts of the paralyzed figure. Stop! For the love of heaven, don't bury me. It's wrong. Wrong! Back where you belong, dead man, and stay there. Forever! I went mad, utterly mad. I wanted to make you both suffer when I lost Joyce. I wanted to wreck your happiness. But I'm sorry for the trick I played now. Please, can't you hear me? But only the darkness hears, and Dan finishes his gruesome task. Horrible job, but still, we're doing nothing wrong. After all, it's a corpse we're burying. No, 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 no don't, don't you understand? understand. It, was it was a, a trick, trick, I tell you, a, a trick. trick. I, I only, only pretended, pretended to be a ghost. ghost. That, that obituary was a was fake. fake. I, I used makeup, makeup foul, foul clothing, clothing bulletproof, bulletproof vest. vest. But I was really alive all the time. Alive! Dearest, we're alone again. Alone! Oh, darling, our nightmare is over. But for Henry Clayton, the nightmare is just starting. Please, Please don't, don't you, you hear, hear me? me. I'm, I'm buried, buried alive. alive. Yeah! And hopefully that story was not too frightening for your hearts to handle. Special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, particularly Michael Maris and Break System VSE. See you next time on Pre-Code Horror Comics Month. <laughs> <laughs>
great! That drumming! And the drumsticks he uses. And the drum. Ugh! <laughs>